Hello everyone, this is Bakari again with um, MacPhotographyTips.net and I'm also a writer for AppleMatters.com and um, MakeUseOf.com. So check out my writing there, Bakari Shibanu. Anyway, um, basically what I'm going to do is another Quick Keys um, tutorial because again, I really kind of like want to pump up the whole idea of automation on your Mac. I think a lot of people are not taking advantage of the ability to automate certain tasks um, on their Mac and two programs that help you do it, a quick keys uh, application and also uh, Max, the Apple's own um, uh, automation, uh, automator, automator program. And both of these programs don't require any um, background knowledge in coding. All they do is require you to you know, just kind of put some time into thinking about what you want to automate and see what kind of tools they have to automate the things that you want to make take place. So what I'm going to do is show you an automation I put together um, that can save you a little bit of time. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, in this automation, I'm going to show you how to automate the task of turning a PDF or turning a web page into a PDF. Now you know if you want to save a web page, you normally have to go down to File, Print. You know that's two clicks already. You have to click here, click here, and then you know after that's clicked, all right, you've got to go and let it save up, and you gotta you know you maybe type in the name, you click Save. So you have about five different clicks in order to save a document or save a web page as a PDF to your page. But what I'm going to do is show you that you can I can do this now in one keystroke. Here we go. Watch. All right. And so you notice here that my PDF is saved on my desktop and it took about 10 seconds or so. So that was all done using quick keys. I put together a a um, a automation that and, and assigned a keystroke to it that allowed me to do that. And so in the next segment, I'm going to show you how I put together that workflow in using quick keys. Quick keys again is something that you can download for free for 30 days to try it out. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we open up Quick Keys, and after we do that, first thing we're going to do is bring up our kind of the little um, editor here, quick and uh, our shortcut. I'm going to click Create New Shortcut. All right, and we always start off with a trigger. Um, and if you've seen some of the last video I did on this, I will explain that some more. But you, we're going to limit our the scope of this um, automation to. Uh, Safari. So we want this trigger to only take place within Safari when Safari is to the front. And then we're going to do a quick key. It was going to be a hot key. I'm sorry, a hot key trigger. And we're going to make that hot key trigger option P. That's the one I choose. And it says that it's already taken because I've already created this workflow. So we're going to ignore that. But when you do it, this will not probably will not occur. But if you're already using this option key, you will get this warning. All right, so you have that. Now, after you have your trigger, this is what this is the hotkey we're going to use to trigger it. We're going to go to our shortcut steps. This is where the work, and this is where a lot of the work involves. We're going to go down to Add Step, User Actions, uh, Menus, Menu Selection. All right, and you will see how that works in a minute. Let me put this uh, aside for a second. All right, so we do that. Now, you can type in your uh, menu items that you want uh, Quick Keys to select, or you can have Quick Keys help you to do that. And so this is how you go about doing that. You click on the Set Menu for Action. All right, then what you're going to do is when it comes up, you want to select the application. In this case, it's going to be Safari. Select the application in which you want to set the menu actions for. So Safari is already selected, so you do that. You're gonna to go to File, to go to uh, Print. And then after you do that, you'll see that it is put in File, Print for you, even with the ellipses here at the bottom. So that's set up for you. You want to keep um, the application in the forefront 
um, here so all the other selections are okay and then you can since you're done with this you can kind of minimize it here and then you want to go to the uh, next step which is uh, uh, you want to have a pop-up uh, menu selected so basically in order to do that we need to have Safari's pop-up menu already set up so let's go here and have this sitting here and I'll show you how to use that in a minute so you want to go to the add step user action pop-up menu and again you can Type in the uh, needed uh, uh, menu name and items that you, know, that you want, but you can also have the uh, quick keys do it for you. So you click on choose pop-up menu, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to select the um, button that you want quick keys to select, and you're going to select it, and then you're going to put on the caps lock key, okay, and that'll that'll lock it in then you click OK alright now the next thing is what worked for me on this is that when you go into um, after you know when you go into this step of the PDF you have to click on here to go to save as PDF this is the second item in the pop-up menu so what worked best for me was to simply take that and put in item number two so that's telling uh, that's telling quick keys which item which menu item you want it you know it's supposed to select when it runs All right so because otherwise it didn't it, you know put in as a as a um, as a oops I'm sorry no it's here so it goes it, it goes to and then put it as position there you go so putting it as name didn't work for me. Putting it as a position worked for me. So you want to do it that way. So we got that clear. We can close that up. All right. And then the next thing we're going to do is we know that we need to save the PDF somewhere. And usually we might save it to a desktop, if you will. So we're going to go here to add step. Go down to user actions again go to type keystroke and we're going to use the shortcut keystroke command D just going to type it in there and that right there will save your uh, document to the um, the PDF to the desktop All right and then the next thing we're going to do um, this is optional but if you might at this point you might want to add a pause um, action in there because this is kind of slow it down just a little bit so I want hang up all right now the last thing is you notice when you go do this manually it'll come up and you have to click the save button in order for it to save to the desktop well this is how we're going to do that we're going to again go down to add step and we're going to go to keystroke type keystroke and we're going to click in the box and click return and what that does, the return, it activates the save button and there it will save it to the desktop. And so that's it. That's the workflow that you have. Now, I've also written this up um, so you can also read it if you like. It's, it's a tutorial I've written up and I'll leave a link in the, in the notes there for you. But that's basically the process. And then when you run it, you know, when you say you have to save it, you know, you will go in and you might save it as... Um, Let's see say save as PDF workflow and you'll save it and then you close you close this out um, and then you try to then you run it using the um, shortcut keystroke option P in Safari so that should work if it doesn't you know let me know if you need any help uh, give me some comments or ask some questions I can help you out but this is a quick little time save particularly if you're someone who likes who has to you know, save a lot of, or wants to save, um, you know, web pages um, as PDFs. I, I, I do that a lot because I like to kind of go back and uh, mark them up or just kind of have them archived a little bit. And um, so it's a really quick way of doing it. So I hope that helps out. Let me know if you like it. Thank you very much.